thanks everybody for coming out and hearing what we've got. Uh, Film Riot is a relatively new company. Well, we're new in actuality anyway, so we've just launched our beta a week and a half ago or so. Um, we've been in development, I guess, about a year or so. Um, we started out of Cambrian House, if anybody's not familiar with Cambrian House. That was uh, running Idea Wars, where you submit business ideas, and you can look at other people's ideas. You can vote them up or down and uh, put comments and so forth. So Film Riot came out of that and won the Idea Wars last November. Andy Doan and I have been developing it since then, and the idea is that is to make a crowdfunding application that's open to all filmmakers. So filmmakers right from ground one, somebody who's trying to put $5,000 together for a short, or, um, or somebody who's uh, trying to raise 100 grand or 300 grand for a documentary or something like that. So we're definitely gearing towards the lower end of filmmaking, but essentially our theory is that with all of what is happening on YouTube and you have all these people who are now considering themselves content creators, so you're getting a lot more people becoming um, content creators and wanting to take it more seriously. So we're giving them some uh, tools that enable them to do that. So first off, um, what we have available to us on our beta is uh, user login, registration, um, as well as you can create a film project on there, which is a project that's going for funding. Um, video we're making front and center, so every page pretty much is going to have video on it. Um, you can add video to your profiles um, for video blogging or anything like that. All of the film projects can have video. So we start off with one of the trailers. I'm not plugged into sound or anything, so this is uh, uh, one of the trailers for a film called The Payoff, which is in our pipeline. I think there's sound if you want, but the black one. If it doesn't, don't worry about it. There we go. That was easy. So then the home page, of course, will have things on what's going on with the site, or news updates and so forth. Latest project, so we're making the, um, the website work so that anybody who goes on has full use of it. You don't have to register in order to get at the inner workings of the site at all. Um, so the only point you're asked for username and password is when you actually want to submit a comment or um, give money to a filmmaker, that sort of thing. You're, you're going to have full access throughout. And our intention, anyways, we haven't uh, we haven't coded this yet, is to make it so you can soft login. You can just put your um, email address and password. I think is what we're going to ask for, and that's it. And then you can go right in, add your comment. If you don't. Um, confirm your login with, your, with the email that we send you, then we'll, after one week, we'll get rid of that comment. But we're, we don't want to slow people down so that we're making it as fluid as possible. So this, as the user is uh, looking at the different films, in this case, um, it's one called Earth. Uh, their funding goal, in this case, um, they put zero, and, I, and we're in contact. These are just our beta testers. Um, so I think it, at this point, they're actually putting their budget together. They just haven't made public what they're trying to raise. Um, all the various trailers are on the side here. So as you're adding more trailers, if you're doing casting auditions, that sort of thing, you've got tapes from your casting sessions. You can upload them. So you're, keeping, you're pulling people along through the creation of the movie. Um, and developing a really loyal fan base uh, throughout it. Everything is commentable and rateable, so there's the rating system there, um, which we've built but haven't implemented. Uh, right now, with the beta, we're implementing basically daily, so every day we're putting on new things. We decided just to get it up. 
Um, it's been in production for too long, and uh, we needed to get it live and get that pressure of uh, the fire under our ass, basically. Um, project update, production info, give you all the basic information. The project updates just runs like a blog, so the filmmaker can do videos, uh, photos, anything like that that they want, a text blog. And I'm going to log in and go to the members profile. So again, at this point anyway, if we've uh, implemented messaging, you can invite somebody to your project. So if I'm a filmmaker and I've got a dozen friends out there, I can send invitations so that they join my film and they're automatically put onto the watch list and get updates on it. Um, and one of the interesting things, I think, when we, where this could go for us, is um, it helps filmmakers organize themselves. So it's not just simply about, I need $10,000 and I'm looking for the 10, 20, $30 out there from various people um, to make it happen, but we're also um, putting in, let's get up my edit, um, by forcing them to fill out all of the information about their film, they're having to think about how they're presenting it. So essentially we're building a film resume for them. Three more minutes. Okay. Um, so the type of movie, the length, the budget, what they're shooting it on. Um, we've just contracted somebody from Vancouver who works for BC Film over there who's going to uh, be helping us put together more information that the filmmakers can really um, sink their teeth into basically. So a full-on budget, all of the various components that you need to think about as a filmmaker. Instead of having to search through the web for examples of budgets and all that sort of thing, which I know is a, a major hassle for them, they don't, they don't know how to do it, they just want to make a film. So they'll be able to go on and uh, and use our form to force them into, into some of those good habits. Um, and the last thing that I'll mention is that uh, we've just implemented a cast and crew feature. So again, we're, we're um, furthering that web. So we've got filmmakers meeting their film, film fans. And now we're going to enable them to um, put cast and crew on as well so they can build their contacts who are connected to the, uh, to the film project through that site. And they can send out emails, broadcast emails to all of the cast and crew and start to use it as an organization base, which is, I think, where some of the real economic power could exist in the future is being able to, or using us as that, as that organizing tool. I think that's about it. Oh, one thing I'd like to mention, if uh, anybody, we're having an investor session next week, so if anybody wants to know where it is and all the details that we'd like to invite you out to. We have uh, three, four minutes for questions. Anyone else? Go I just ahead. noticed, um, I didn't see anywhere on there where you get actually got the screen setting up there. So right. Can someone go and actually, you know, first step to investing in a movie before you can start the pre-production is uh, have the screen setting. Uh, At this so point, not the full screen play. Um, we're going to have a bucket so you can put whatever documents in you want. So it can be in Excel, it can be uh, it can be a doc, or it can be Final Draft, or whatever you've written in your screen plan. But again, that's another area that we're looking at expanding, so we can actually pull the screen plan into the database and use it to organize the shoot and the budget and so forth as well, all around the screen plan. Yeah, Yes, so actually on the film sheet, like it, yeah, 
Yeah. The, the way that the, actually I never talked about the way that the investment um, is going to work, but uh, what it'll be, if I put my 10 bucks towards that filmmaker, I get a digital copy of the film. That's, that's the first thing I've, I'm pre-buying a copy of the film. Um, I also get royalties off of all the sales of the finished film that go through the film lot store. So we'll just parse everything out um, as it comes in um, and we'll pay, pay people out. So we take that off of the filmmaker's hands and ha having to pay royalties and figure all that stuff out. But as well, we're gonna, once we've implemented that, we're going to have a tool so that filmmakers can put a dollar amount towards um, somebody who is, say, a camera operator or whatever on their shoot. So I'm putting $5,000 of my time towards it. They, they can credit us $5,000 through the system, and we'll give them part of the royalties just as we would if somebody had put cash down. And so how do you make money? Um, yeah, a few different ways. One is we're charging a um, a fee on all of the money that's given that's given to filmmakers. Mm -hmm. So there'll be a seven percent fee, a transaction fee. Um, there'll be a store. So that's the agreement we have with the filmmakers is that if they resell any finished product on our store, um, and that'll be at sixty forty split, like traditional retail. Um, so that'll be our biggest part of our revenue. Mm -hmm. We'll sell it in the end, yeah. Yeah. Anything else? Are there plans for any tools to crowdsource We've thought about it. Um, we're not going to rush there, but uh, we're going to keep it keep an open mind to it, anyways, and see if there's a demand out there or not. I think some people want to operate in a collaborative way, but uh, more right now, people want a way to make money to make their film. So that's where we see it's the hottest. So we'll go there first. Yay. All right. Thank you.